That is not it right there. Where? <laughs> Hello, peeps, and welcome back to this channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm Wine Light. And today, we're going to be playing not just one, not just two, but three, you guys. Three scary games, and it's going to be Christmas edition. Because I am the, uh, you know, the holiday Christmas season. I don't know about you guys, but I am. And I found some scary games that are Christmas themed. So why not play them, you know? So go ahead and grab your snacks, grab your drinks, and maybe grab a friend. Because it's going to be really scary, you guys. All right, now, um, it looks like on the screen, the first game we're going to be playing is called Frosty the Snow Hitman. I was going to say Snowman, but it has the word hit in the middle between snow and man. So Snow Hitman. And I do want to shout out the developer of this game. I believe they're called Law Scrubs. So yeah, shout out to them. I do not know much about this, but let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, my family should have arrived hours ago for our Christmas dinner. I should go over and see what is taking them so long. Okay, oh, we got a yes, chimney. Sir. Cute, yes, sir. love it. Yes, okay, sir. gifts on yes, you know, sir. the Christmas tree. Yes, sir. I love sir. the decorations. Um, don't know why we have a picture of a, a snowflake in a tree, oh. but, um, go off. Okay. Oh, who's that? Oh, hell no. Hey, let's go see our family. Wait, can we leave? Nope. Like, what is going on? This is, oh, wait, right here. Right here, right? Oh, uh, we're supposed to read this, you guys. Okay. This is going to be quite a long story, I guess. So go ahead and grab your snacks again and your drinks if you haven't done so. You can go use the restroom real quick too. Or you can pause the video. Whichever one you want to do. The Legend of Frosty. In the small, secluded town of Frostvale, nestled deep within the snowy mountains, a chilling legend haunts the residents every Christmas Eve. The tale speaks of a malevolent snowman known as Frosty, said to come to life when the clock strikes midnight. Ooh, we definitely don't need that. Born from a cursed snowfall long ago. Frost Bane is said to roam the silent streets, seeking unexpected victims with coal for eyes and a twisted carrot for a nose. The spectral snowman is rumored to freeze the hearts of those unfortunate enough to cross his path. Locals recount stories of mysterious disappearance and icy encounters, warning one another to stay indoors on the fateful night. Whether a cautionary tale or a sinister reality, the legend of Frost Bane casts a shadow over the once festive holiday, turning Christmas Eve into a night of fear and dread for the residents of Frostville. Okay. It's good to know now. Can I leave? Oh, wow. So, really? Really? I had to read that first in order to leave? I think that's him right there. Wait, oh, wait. Oh, oh my gosh. Who could have done this? I need to find the others. Yes, you do. We need to go and find the others. I hope they are still alive, too. Wait, why? We can't go in there? Oh, no. Oh, that's the window. I'm so scared. There's no door! Ow! Oh! He moved! Wait, that's another one! There's two! I thought it was that one! He's right there! I'm so worried! There he goes again! Bruh. Oh, no, 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 he's moving, he's moving. I gotta go. Oh, he's getting closer. Where's everyone else? Stop. Let me in. Please. In here? Nope. Where'd he go? Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Oh my gosh, he's chasing us. Literally, this snowman is chasing us. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, he's getting closer. He's getting closer. All right, I'm gonna go near this one. Hello, sir, sir, sir. Help me, your friend over there. It like he he he's like loose. Like he's going a little ooh, ooh, a little cuckoo. Can I jump on top of the... No. Okay, we have to continue running. Can't go into any of the homes. And... He's just chasing us. I don't think any of the doors are supposed to open. Okay, you know what? Let's just... Let's just talk to him. What? Let's go talk to him. Maybe he just... Maybe he has something to tell us. I'm looking at you. You're looking at me. 
What are we gonna talk about? Eh. Oh, he's whispering. <laughs> what? He was whispering, you guys. He said something, but I don't under I don't understand. Oh no, I don't want to do this, but we have to. Is he gonna get us? What is he doing? Oh, he tries. He's trying to get us. If that's what it takes, I guess. Oh, this is the last one. Just do it. All right, you guys. We're on to the next game. It's called Tornuktu. Tornuktu. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but let's go ahead and get into it. And shout out to the developer of this game. Late one winter polar night, you find yourself unable to sleep. Awoken with a strange, uneasy feeling, with your mother fast asleep, you decide to move to the living room. Ooh, with not much to do, you start reading an old book you found at the town bookstore earlier that day. Bruh. Okay. Oh my God! Cute. No. Okay, this looks a little bit more realistic. Nice. There's the book. I don't want to read right now. Where's the presents? The chimney. Oh, oh, we can go in the chimney. Wow. That is pretty cool. We're so small. So tiny. Yeah, let's explore before we read the book. Um, because I don't want it to start, if that makes sense. F for flashlight? Nope. It is kind of dark. What is really nice. All right, let's go back. Oh, we cannot run. So we have to walk. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. All right, here we go, you guys. The Tornuktu is an evil creature originating in Alaskan folklore. Its physical form is described as having both human and reindeer characteristics. What? It has the head of a reindeer, but with human teeth. Which wrap around its entire face? Oh um, my god! Well, I don't want to see that. It has the body of a man, but with hooves for feet. Its skin is pale white, but is covered in black fur, and it has eyes that glow at night. Okay. It is said to be especially tall when it's on its hind legs, and capable of walking like a human. Oh, However, it is also no. capable of galloping like a deer, and can travel at high speeds in an almost floating manner. Okay, so it has like that two-in-one special, I guess. Close. Okay. Now that we did that... We look out the window. Um, I don't see anything. I surely hope it's not in here. Huh? Mom's mom's room. Where is he? It's in here. Where exactly? I don't know. Wait, what's glowing? Please don't tell me it's the book. Do we have to go back and forth? Like, read read some of the pages and go back and then read again? What? Bruh. Yes, we do! The Tornuku is said to only be seen in months of November through January. During these months, Alaska experiences a time of darkness, also known as polar night, where the sun ceases to rise. It is believed the Tornuku is unable to attack outside of these months due to a weakness to the sun. Once the polar night starts, the Tonuktu is said to be starving and will begin its hunting, invading people's homes and eating them. It is believed that the Tonuktu targets those who build their homes far from others in secluded places. Thus, to be safe from an attack, people should live closely to one another. Uh, do we live close? Nope. Okay, I'm glad I can't open up the front door. We're gonna hear a noise, then we gotta go back and read again. Mom? No. My room? No. Is it out here? Can I get some- can I get a snack? We're in the kitchen. Not the bathroom. Why is the bathroom all the way in the kitchen? That is weird. Wait, what's that? One of the doors opened. Was the back door? 
Oh my gosh, it was the back door. And I don't think the book is glowing anymore. Nope. Here we gotta go. Okay. Please don't be at this. Oh my gosh, is that it right there? That's a snowman, but it looks more like a demon. Wait, that one has a face. Wait, what's behind it? Are those the hind legs? Uh, I don't want to go out there. Alright, let's go. Are you the... I have to close the door? It's already in here! What was the reason? Oh my gosh, the book is glowing again! A sign Tonapu is near is finding snowman-like figures, which are said to have faces of the dead, and smell like even corpses. What? Ah, uh, we just saw a snowman. Yep. And I, I told you it had like a real face on there. So, or, or like a human face, so that is kind of creepy. It is believed such figures will surround a house before the Tonapu attacks. Another sign it might be near is excessive feelings of fear or distress with no direct cause. We do have a direct cause. We're reading this book. Well, I guess it's, it's guess it's in the Oh my gosh! No, God! You're in the window too. No, oh. God, please! I guess no, it's indirect. No, kind of no, a passive aggressive. No! Can't open up the front door. Wait, not the chimney! It's gonna what if it drops down on us? Is this the end? Ah! Ah! Wait, the snowman's still there. Well, it's not a snowman, it's a snow demon. Not the chimney, okay. Where now? I have goosebumps. Oh, the book. The tornado also carries a bag made of fur, which it uses to steal children from the house it attacks. It is unknown where the children go when they are taken. Some say the tornado eats their soul to attain immorality. Others, that it keeps them to eat throughout the rest of the year. Don't take us! Are you behind the couch? Nope. I wanna stay next to the window. Are you behind there? No, we have to go. Wait, is that it? No, that's a chair. What is that? Leave me. Oh wait, that's mom. You need to leave. Mom. Oh, wait. No. Oh, not the mom's room. Oh, I slipped it's, in it's, it. It's oh. Not the book again. I don't like this no more. It is believed the only way the tornado can die is to starve to death. Well, it didn't even mom, so I was like, Bruh. you know, it's not gonna starve. So once it finds a house to attack, there is nothing that can be done to stop it. Well, yeah, but please, not me. I'd rather go outside. Please. Oh! Close the door. Oh my gosh. What is that? That is not it right there. Weird. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was scary. Okay, um again this game was really good. Uh shout out to the developer again, Johnny's Games, for creating this game. It was a lot of reading. She's got a point. But the jump scare at the end, you guys. I think it was pretty good. I didn't even know it was following us. All right, you guys, we're on to the last game. It's called Santa Christmas Eve. This game already, it looks really scary. Like, right in the middle, there is a demon child right there staring at us. I don't know if he's staring at us or if he's staring at the sweets on the table or he's trying to, you know, sneak in to open up his gifts. Either way, shout out to the developer and let's go ahead and get into it. All right, resume. Ooh. 
I'm so nervous. Okay. Oh, look at the little kids. They're waiting for their presents. But this year, it wasn't just Santa Claus who was coming to town. Wait, what does that mean? Oh, never mind. There are demon kids. They don't need to give. Oh my gosh, was that an elf? That's a tall elf. Wait, are we Santa Claus? Okay, so we are Santa Claus, and it looks like we have to um, get out the sleigh. We can change the camera. Okay, that's kind of far. And we need to go ahead and give the gifts. Okay, so we have three gifts, and we have to go to five houses. All right, so now, I guess we have to find these five houses. Um, how do we have three gifts, and only we have to hit up five houses? Bruh. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, wait, what's all this in the air? Oh, this might mean where I'm supposed to go. Oh, wait, is that food? Reindeer food? Let's see, we're gonna collect one. Can we grab it? Can we grab it? Can we grab it? I think it cannot. Oh, I just did. Okay, right here. Um, get out the sleigh. Slay is parked. Going to house. Yes. Here you go, here you go. Santa Claus is here. Oh. Whoa, what's going on? Oh. It's kind of weird. Oh, the door is already opened. And I, oh. Down. Oh, wait, wait. Like. Come on now, oh, dog. Right here. Come on, man. Okay, much better. Let's go in the house. We have no gifts! So I hope the children do not beat me up. Why is this like the same house? Wait, are the houses like HOA or something? They all look the same. He left. He left. Look, like there's only one. Oh, you eyes. Hey, yo. Leave me alone, kid. I don't give up. I don't have a gift for you. That's suspicious. Wait, give me that. Wait, you got you the gift. Stop, stop, give me. Stop. Where are you going, kid? Give me that gift. Nope. Give it back. Can I eat some cookies? Okay. No, God, please, yeah. no, 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 no! How do I get it from the kid? Why are you running? Why are you running? He found it before I did. Is it still in his hand? It's not. Did he drop it? Where's the gift? <laughs> Got it. Wait, he's taking something from me. Wait, move. Go the way. Wait. Stop snatching gifts. I don't know how this kid. Oh, so this, so this whole time the evil kids were taking the gifts from me. Bruh. Wait, why can't I go near the Christmas tree? Okay, we're leaving. We are officially. Ah! Ah! I'm leaving. They keep stealing gifts from me. They're being bad. They are cutting up. It's 2023, about to be 2024. I cannot. Oh. Yeah, where's that elf to, though? He had them looking kind of evil. I don't know, you guys. But. Oh! Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Wait, hold on. Okay. Well, you guys, that's gonna be it for the games. Uh, these games were, were kind of interesting, you know? 
very spooky but if you like my gameplay and like my personality why not leave a like on this video you guys and share it and also drop down below in the comment section what other games would you like to see on this channel other than that you guys i hope to see you guys soon